Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I will build a widget in Flutter based on a Figma screen design. So let's start in Figma and have a look at the design first. I will start with something fairly simple. I want to have a list of restaurants in my app and each restaurant will be displayed as one of these line items. So what we have here is a card design that has an icon, the name of the restaurant, an icon where I can make a reservation and an expander where I get to a larger view of that item with a bit more information. For now, I will focus on the first item. So I will take apart this screen component here in Figma and then assemble it back together in Flutter. I took a screenshot of the item that we want to disassemble and then reassemble in Flutter. So we have a rectangular shape that goes from the left to the right side of the screen. It has rounded corners because it has a background color. The foreground color is black. It has a bit of a margin around it and a padding inside. So the items placed inside don't touch the boundary and the rectangle itself has also a bit of a spacing towards the edge of the screen. We also see it has a bit of a shadow, a couple pixels, and it has a very thin line around it in black. Now inside we see an icon and the name of the restaurant and two more icons which are buttons. Now in Figma we already know the width of a screen, in Flutter we don't. We don't know on what type of phone it will be running and also the uh, name of the restaurant might be longer or shorter. So the length of the text will be what fills the gap. The left icon will be tied to the left side of the screen and the two icons on the right side will be pushed to the right. Here we see the widgets we will be using in Flutter to model this. A container will be used to basically define the overall shape and with box decoration we can set stuff like the, the padding around it, also the margin, we can set the background color, these types of things, the, the elevation, the line around it, rounded corners. Then the reason I use a column is basically a bit looking ahead uh, for the other versions of this one where I will add more content uh, on the, at the bottom of this. But in general, it's a row that has four items, the icon, the name and two buttons. Each of these will be placed in another container or expanded or sized box that are necessary to define the sizing of these objects. So the container makes it small, the expanded uh, makes sure that the text uses the remaining space in the row and the size box is used to restrict the icon button to the size of the icon. Let's go to VS Code and have a look at the code. So here we have the build function that builds this widget on screen. So we return a container with a box decoration, border radius uh, rounds the edges, the color is set to orange 100 which is super close to the color we had in Figma and border sets a very thin black line around the rectangle. Then we have margin and padding to define the space around the object and the column is set to the smallest possible size along the main axis from top to bottom. It has only one element, so it should be restricted to this one. And the children is just one element and that's a container, which is height restricted and contains the row, which defines these four items. And the first one, the icon is in placed in a container, again with a bit of padding uh, around it or actually margin around it. And the icon is restaurant outlined from the material icon library with a size of 16. Here I have the text, which is not just Charlie's Steakhouse, but I take the actual 
name from my database. I place it in a container to define the margin and padding and place all this in a expanded to make sure the unused space in the line is used here at the end of the string of the text label. Then after that, I have two sized boxes. They're pretty much identical. So these two icons are placed in a sized box uh, with a size defined. Otherwise the icon button would take more space than I want it to have. And the icon button contains design-wise just the icon and padding alignment for the second one. I place it in the top right and actually I deviate slightly from the design. I don't take this homemade expander button, but I take the expand more uh, design from the material design icon library. So that's all the coding for this. Let's run it and see how that looks like. So here I have my simulated iPhone and it has already created like eight line items based on actual data I have in my database and it uses the widget that we just built with a design from Figma. And what we see here now in the iPhone is very close to what we had designed in Figma. If you like this kind of video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this.